Welcome to the Purdue Library's tutorial on the Short Story Index Database. This tutorial will cover an overview of the database, how to narrow down search results, and other helpful tools. You may wonder why you should use the Short Story Index Database. This EBSCO database indexes all of the important collections and anthologies of short stories that are published each year. Since 1984, it includes over 117,000 stories from more than 4,200 collections and anthologies. This database is also searchable by author, title, subject, keyword, date, literary technique, and source alone or by any combination. To get started, let's go to the Purdue Library's website at www.lib.purdue.edu. Next, click on the database link underneath the search box. This will link to a full list of databases available through the Purdue Libraries. To find the short story index, go to the S section, scroll down to the title, and click on the link. First, let's take a look at the main page. If it looks familiar, that is because EBSCO databases share the same interface. If you learn to navigate one, you should find using others to be very similar. Also, like many other databases, there are a couple of options for searching, basic and advanced. For now, we will use the basic search and try one for cats. Since cats have been used throughout literature as symbols which can represent many things, it is not a surprise that our search has brought back quite a few results. However, over 1400 results is a few too many to go through, so we can narrow that down a bit by using the Refine Results options over to the left side of the screen. This includes limiting the results by source type, subject, publisher, language, and more. For today, we are going to narrow the results down to the subject of cats in fiction. This will bring the results down to 90. From here, you can review the list to see which items will help with your research. If you look to the right side of the title, there is an icon with a magnifying glass. This is a preview where you can read an abstract for the item. If the item fits with what you are looking for, click on the Find It at Purdue button. If Purdue does not have access to this item through one of its subscriptions, you can click on the Request This Resource through Interlibrary Loan Link. One last tip. If you have not heard of the Interlibrary Loan Service, also known as ILL, this is a great resource for accessing items that are not in the Purdue Library's collection. This is a free service for currently employed or enrolled West Lafayette faculty, student, or staff. You can request all sorts of materials, including books, articles, book chapters, DVDs, sheet music, and more. For more information about ILL, you can visit their website at www.lib.purdue.edu slash services slash interlibrary loan. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. If you're looking for other databases similar to Short Story Index, here are a couple to try.